Those expensive beans. <laughs> <laughs> this cap looks like a cherry flavored caramel macchiato. How does that make you feel? Tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Most of your videos I think were ASMR, but have you done like normal talking ones? Like, you know, not really. They're gonna hear you. I know, I'm excited. That is exciting. <laughs> the truth is, he sounds like a cat all the time. <laughs> Hi. Hey, yeah. Uh... This this is the whole video. It's just us making these noises. <laughs> <laughs> going on. Welcome back to this crazy corner of the internet where we finally started running cat software on cat hardware. In today's adventure, I am joined by an extremely talented, beautiful feline, Lucrative Lion. Hey. Hey. He does a lot of things on the YouTube land, primarily ASMR. He also has really expensive beans, so he's like a good cup of coffee. He is definitely a talented filmographer, constructor of things that have to do with leather, and is a very intelligent cat, as cats tend to be. We are combining our efforts today to do internet stuff. Wow! You went on your channel, then you said, hey, give me some questions. And they said, do we have questions for you? And you said, cool. And now we have questions. <laughs> we may not have answers. That's, that's kind of the gamble, right? So if you think we're gonna have some answers, well, you're not wrong. Today's adventure is all about interviewing a cat and asking him questions. First question is by Kevlar. Hi, Kevlar. Kevlar says, did you have any tough times where the furry fandom helped you a lot? Way back in 2016, I was diagnosed with a really rare stomach condition. I was going through the hardest time of my entire life. The condition is called superior mesenteric artery syndrome and it brought me to my knees. The furry fandom has helped me so much through that. It really, like, I came face to face because there's a high mortality rate for it. And one of the things I said is if and when I kicked the bucket, I really wanted to always get a fursuit, see what it's like. So I mean, had I not got that condition, I might never have gotten a fursuit. So I try to find the positives and everything. It helps so much. The community is so supportive. Just being people like Dune is such a rare find. People are so creative, outgoing. You get to meet like talking cats. So how cool is that? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Next question is from Lucrative Lion. Who's that guy? Whoa. He says, that thumbnail though. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get on that thumbnail game. Dude. <laughs> you showed me a lot of tips though, so thank you. Yes, absolutely. We'll we'll get you we'll get you on the thumbnail game. It'll be good. <laughs> Ali says, do your parents know about your fursuit? Yeah, they do. Way back in 2016, I bought my first fursuit. His name is Luke. Mm -hmm. It was originally Nuke Leo, but now it's Trip. <laughs> yeah, got a makeover. <laughs> <laughs> My parents, they're so old school. They they were born like the 50s, so they don't know about like the fandom. They, they don't really know about the internet too much. I mean, obviously they do emails and Google. They know it's like a lion costume and it makes me happy. I actually got them to try on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the green lion suit. And they liked it, you know, it's fun. <laughs> Ali also says, how tall are you? I'm totally average. I'm like five foot seven and a half. <laughs> That's like fun size. <laughs> <laughs> the suit adds a lot of inches. Like when I'm in suit, I look like six feet easily. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ali's last question is, how is your wallet business going? Oh, thanks. Um, sadly with COVID, my in-person sales took a big hit in mm -hmm. December, but that's all right. I got in a few stores and I'm still pushing my website, mylastwallet.com. So, so far, so good. Sorry, I'm probably gonna butcher names. I think this is Willie Die Enti. Willie says, why did you decide to join the furry fandom? When I had that stomach condition, I was like, I wanted you, I wanted to kick this off my bucket list. It was so much fun to make a persona and just personify like who you are, like the best version of yourself, the best version that you could be. And yeah. it's just a blast. I'm pretty introverted, like, it's, people are stunned to hear that because on camera I'm very outgoing. Yeah. The suit makes you so comfortable, you can just let go and just 
be whoever you want, and that is so cool. It's magical. How often can you say, I talked to a cat the other day, and he talked back? <laughs> you know, it's just like, that's what's so magical about the fandom. Mickey is cute 4 says, Maybe explain about your personas slash characters and like how you both came to have them. Did you decide them yourself? Were they adopted, etc.? I'll let you take that one first if you'd like. Sure, I can. <laughs> so I was really into Sonic the Hedgehog when I was growing up. I related to Tails because he's kind of the, the shrimp. He's little. He can't really fight for himself. He's not strong like Knuckles. He's not fast like Sonic. What he is good at is his brain. That inspired me to study hard in school and get smart. And I don't know if that actually succeeded. But TBD. <laughs> Eventually I realized, hey, people make costumes and that means I can be an animal if I want to be an animal. Wow! I was like, cool, I'll be a fox. The name Dune came from a book called The City of Ember, which I read in, I believe, 2006. The book follows two teenagers, a boy and a girl. The main character is the girl and her best friend's name is Dune. Aww. For me, I just love lions. They're so majestic. I mean, what can you say that the manes, the manes, the manes. The way they present themselves, how they're up and at the top of the food chain, they keep things regulated. Their social dynamic, they're like one of the only groups of cats that lives in a pride. The name Lucrative, <laughs> it's just a little play on words because my real name is Luke. I've always loved business and investing, so just put the two together and <laughs> Lucrative. Willie Dianti also asks, how did you get into ASMR? Ooh, this one's pretty cool. Way back in uh, 2015, I was starting my first like internship in accounting. Whenever you start a new job, you know how stressful the first oh, few yeah. weeks are. It's like, oh my God, how do I learn this? How do I do this? One thing I found that it really helps me like unwind is just the ASMR. It's almost like you either get it or you don't as far as like the tingles. But even people who don't get the tingles, like sometimes they're still able to relax to it. It just does wonders. It instantly puts me in the zone. I can just relax and chill out. And no matter if I've had like a sweet, like stressful day or something, I can always just turn it on and just relax. Andrew O'Neill says, What is the most favorite thing about the furry fandom that you love? The best thing that I love is just that special connection that you, when you meet someone, you know that like they have this huge interest in animals. It's, it's so much more than a passion. It's like almost a part of who you are. Yeah. When you meet someone, it's just an instant bond and you know they're cool, they're chill. We help give animals a voice that don't have one. A lot of the conventions, we put so like hundreds of thousands of dollars gets raised towards oh my God, animal yeah. conversation conservation, giving these animals a home when they're losing so much across the world. Like people didn't even know that there was an American lion that became extinct. That's what my persona is based off of. Yeah, so, like that's actually news to me. Yeah, a lot of people, they love animals and that's very important. It's also important to not use crest when you're an animal because we don't have regular teeth. <laughs> I don't know what that had to do with anything. Like that. <laughs> but when you're an American lion, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> Slime Rat, hi, says, <laughs> what is your favorite ASMR trigger? Ooh. That's a great question. <laughs> I love this one. For me, I love soap cutting. <laughs> oh, I yeah. I like five Snapchat channels of just people doing soap cutting and tapping and like touching it. Yeah, I love it. I did not know that was an ASMR trigger. Just to watch soap cutting, because I can watch it without the audio, I'm like, this shit could put me to sleep. This is so <laughs> relaxing. Right. I just, because, you know, they do the really geometric patterns until the shards of soap fall down or whatever. And I'm just oh, like, yeah. oh, this is like hypnosis for real. It <laughs> is. Slime Rat also says, who made your fursuit? Mine was done by Snap at buycatsforecats.com. We love the Snap. Yes, God. Yes, we do. <laughs> Avery Dell Miller says, damn, I didn't know you're in Michigan. What is it with furries in Michigan? We're all psycho. <laughs> long story short. <laughs> How long until your suit is entirely made out of Louis Vuitton fabrics? <laughs> hey, if Louis Vuitton ever wants to sponsor me with a full suit, okay. I won't say no. <laughs> okay. What would your name be as a Louis Vuitton? Um, I would be Louis the Lion for sure. Louis the Lion. <laughs> I was almost thinking like Mui Vuitton. <laughs> <laughs> like Meowie Vuitton. Yeah. <laughs> Enigma says, hi, lucrative lion. What are your next ideas and plans for your channel? For 2021, I'm going to be doing a lot more collaborations, a lot more just fun videos, definitely stepping outside the shell of just ASMR and showing you guys more of my life, what I do and 
interacting with my viewers more. By the way, your ASMR content is amazing and unique. I wish you the best. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. You guys' comments mean so much to me. Ikiz the Pink Wolf says, What is your favorite animated furry movie? Oh, this is so easy. Lion King. All yeah. The way. <laughs> Who's your favorite character of the Lion King? Ooh, you have to make me pick. Oh, man. I'm gonna do this can of worms. <laughs> My son is almost like a hybrid between Mufasa and Simba. Yeah. And, um, I mean, Scar is so cool because he's a bad guy. And then there's Kozu. Oh my gosh, I can't pick, but I mean, if I have to, Simba. The main... Drivable Pig 607. Maybe as a collab, you guys could do some sort of challenge. Maybe it's be boozled or art. See what you guys do in comment and go off of that. Oh, there's gonna be something. <laughs> we coming soon. Chu Pistola says, when did you discover it was a furry? I would say 05, I think I do. Wow. Yeah, I was like 12. <laughs> okay, Um, I would say around, yeah, same time for me, middle schoolish. I mean, obviously I always loved the Lion King. I didn't even know about the fandom until then. I think the first introduction would probably be through um, art and stuff, so. Yeah. yeah. Oxytocin says, <laughs> Hey Luke, what was your favorite ASMR video to create? And what video would you recreate if given the chance? My favorite one, and it definitely took me a little bit to make, was my roaring video. <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I had to step way outside my comfort zone to make those roars and like roaring into the mic. It took a few tries and it was a little awkward at first, but it was so much fun. I just like being pushed a little bit outside my comfort zone to create some good content. What video would you recreate if given the chance? Ooh, probably the roaring video because I get a lot of requests to do more of that. As for collab ideas, Maybe trying to recreate your favorite lion sounds and fox sounds for dudes. Ha ha, I don't really know. But it might be fun. My sounds are easy. I just go, ah! <laughs> or, wee! That's pretty much up. Ah! Oh, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> You're good. Ah! Tristan's Crazy Nanigans says, have you had any other jobs before or just one? Oh, for me, I've had tons. Growing up, I used to mow lawns. I was a sandwich artist at Subway for a little bit while I was in college. Mm -hmm. um, did an internship at a financial consulting firm, and now a leather crafter. Nico Fox 51 GD says, if you weren't a lion, what animal or species would you be? I'm a fox. I love your icon, by the way, it's so cute. <laughs> maybe a tiger, uh, maybe a horse. Ooh, okay. <laughs> and then possibly a bear. Makes sense. <laughs> you definitely have the beard for it. <laughs> God, I don't know. I've like always been a fox, like just in my head, you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> but I guess if I had to be some other species, I guess I'd probably be a human. <laughs> <laughs> what? Chris Morales, hey Chris says, amazing, cool, I love Dude the Fox too, he's funny and adorable. Thank you, that's really sweet of you. How do you explain the furry phantom to normies? You know what I tell people? What? I tell people the following. I say, have you ever done drugs? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I tell people that we're like freelance mascotters, we do charity work. We're just people that enjoy anthropomorphic animals and art. There's such a varying degree on like how much you participate, you know, if you just like watch it online, if you have your sona, if you like actually go to conventions and stuff. And it, there's just so many degrees of where you could be on that, but it, it's a very inclusive fandom. Jay Newey, hey Jay, says, favorite movie and favorite book. Favorite movie, obviously Lion King. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite book, that's a tough one. I usually like self-improvement books and learning. Sure. Right now, I would probably say, I think it's Anthony Bourdain, Kitchen Confidential. It really gives like an in-depth about his life, his experiences like a writer, a chef. It reads just like you're speaking to him. It's so cool. Last one, Ghost Shinobi G59 says, first. <laughs> You won! <laughs> well, we got a lot of questions today. How do you feel? Do you feel like all like you aced the test? I think so. I think you did too. <laughs> well, that was us answering some questions from you guys on YouTube. So if there's any more questions that you have for us, let us know in the comments below. Maybe we'll do a part two. 
Who knows? Do you have any parting words for the lovely people of YouTube? Um, I would say thank you guys very much for the short notice. I mean, I only posted this video a couple hours ago and you guys bombarded me with questions. Thank you very much. You guys made this video possible. Y'all are super supportive out here, so we appreciate you tons. We could not be as silly as we are without all of your beautiful smiling faces, so thank you so much. <laughs> if there's anything you want to see us do in a future video, you should let us know in the comments below. Some of you left great suggestions that we will be fully exploring, so stay tuned for that. Where can people find you on the internet? Ooh, you can find me on YouTube, The Gritted Lion, and I'm also on Twitter as well. All of his links will be in the description, so be sure to show this beautiful cat lots of love. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next episode where we maybe eat food or stare at the wall for hours watching paint dry. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Yeah.